Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA has successfully drained the hype out of FC24 for a lot of people, maybe even you. And I think a lot of that has to do with Team of the Year, the pack weight, the mistakes, like with Team of the Year Messi, and now even some of the road to the final content. But I think it needs to be discussed a little bit today and what's going on with this game, the situations and how we're feeling, because it's obvious that the game is down bad right now. And of course, we got to look forward to today a little bit as well. With all of what's going on, there is still content dropping with Road to the Final. We got to look at a new Evo today that looks very interesting and it's related to UCL and how EA might try to right the ship, you could say, for content on this game today. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Also, I want to say this really fast. While the game is just kind of in this kind of lull, right? A lot of people are not excited about it. You read everywhere, oh, I'm quitting the game, all this. I appreciate you guys for consistently tuning into the videos, man. No matter if the content's booming or if it's bad, you guys are always tuning into the videos and I really, really appreciate that. And I appreciate the love and support that you guys show to the channel year round. So with that said, let's get into a couple of things that dropped yesterday because it was a Saturday. Saturdays are never super crazy. We did have yet again another challenge SBC that is a part of the um, progression. It was high efficiency, small rare gold players pack. Pretty easy to do. Footman says it is a whopping 3,000 coins to complete. So go ahead and get that one done. You do have about two days each to get these SBCs done. So maybe three days, actually. It's like two days, 14 hours. So three days to do each of these SBCs. Make sure you get them done if you're trying to get them done and get the objective done. We also had the 85 plus player pick. This was the biggest SBC that dropped yesterday. Hey, EA, what was this during team of the year? A one times daily repeatable 85 plus player pick like last week would have been great. Also, the fact that it's only an 84 rated squad. Last week, we didn't know what to do with ourselves because we had so many 84s. Now, even as I look at this right now, I think to myself, is an 84 rated squad worth an 85 plus player pick? I think most of the time during the year, we would say it's probably not a good gamble, but it is a pretty high level player pick. I'm going to do it right now. Yes, you could pack a live card. That's the whole point of like people opening packs right now is trying to hit a... That is not a road to the final, but it is an inform. I saw the outline of the card and I got excited for a second. Um, yeah, you could get something cool from this. So for 17,000 coins, when you think about how cheap the 84s are right now, it actually doesn't seem like terrible value. And I think that's why it's upvoted 70%. But uh, yeah, where was that pack during team of the year last week? Because that would have been nice. Even one times repeatable every day. I think the value is, is okay if you have 84s. And I actually think that it's going to make some fodder go up. If you have 83s, lazy list them for like 1.2 to 1.3k. We've done this so many times during the year this year. List those up. Maybe even list your 82s, commons or whatever for like 700 to 900 coins because you'll probably get some sales. And then 84s, um, I mean, they started to go up a little bit yesterday. Right now, they're 1.7 to 1.8k and they were 1.4 to 5. You can see they started to go up a little bit. That was after day one. Just imagine after the weekend when the supply from weekend league rewards and a little bit of store pack action runs out. I can see 84s with that SBC alone rising up maybe to like 2k or maybe just above 2,000 coins because everybody loves an 85 plus type of gamble player pick when it is 17,000 coins, which is in theory cheap, right? Although you are turning in 11 cards to get one back. So I would say lazy list 83s and 84s if you want to trade with that and just like if you want a lazy list and buy a bunch and then list them up every hour just to try to get some sales, I think that's a decent thing to do right now in this game. Let's talk about the Evo that was dropped yesterday because it was the one that was leaked and that we looked at in yesterday's video. It is the Superpowers Evolution. It's actually kind of interesting because this is an Evo that gives you the potential to get a two playstyle plus hero. Now, the example here is Brolin, and he does not have one. It's 100,000 coins, a little bit ex expensive, and I have literally nobody in my club that fits this. I don't have any heroes. I'm sure a lot of you guys might be the same way unless you have some, some heroes still stocked in your club. This evolution feels like it is perfectly made for somebody who has a hero striker in their club that they can upgrade if maybe it's a club legend, maybe a hero that you're just a big fan of for their footballing career, and then you can upgrade them to a higher rated version. You do get the first touch plus play style and the power shot play style as well, um, and it's not that hard to complete. It's a decent number of games, but you're upgrading a hero card here. And uh, yeah, some of the cards you can get from this or that put into this, there's not very many, right, since it's only hero strikers. There is just a solid chunk here, but there are some like Forlan, Morientes, and Viali and Keen. I think that are some of the best ones. I mean, you take a look at these cards, like Francesco as well looks pretty decent, but a double playstyle plus Keen, uh, Forlan with the power shot and the first touch, uh, Papin with the power shot and the first touch. But for most people, it's like, okay, 
unless I have one of these in the club, I really don't want to go out and spend the coins to buy the hero or try to snipe the hero because all these guys, once again, man, we talked about this with fodder, but even with these cards, EA, if you're going to release a hero evolution that's going to make these cards go up because people want to put it in the Evo, like up the price range of the card so that people can, even if they want to pay way too much for it, can still actually buy it. Unless EA just wants to try to get so much hype for this that the cards are extinct. And then that makes maybe more people want to try to get him. Watch EA drop a hero player pick today that includes base heroes and that people do more of just because they're trying to get a few of these. I wouldn't be doing that, but I don't know. I'm just trying to think along EA's thought process here of, of why they don't upgrade price range on these cards when they either put them as good upgrades in EVOs or require them in SBCs. But that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the situation with the EVO. I mean, it's only 13, 17% of Vodal and Footbin. It's decent. Again, I feel like for a small percentage of people, uh, but even for 100,000 coins, that upgrade is okay with the PlayStyle Plus um, ability to be doubled on some of those uh, hero cards. So not terrible, but not for me, especially since I have nobody in the club. Also, yesterday was the final of the FC Season 5, the finals of the Pro Live thing. Guys, I can't lie. I'm glad it's over. I don't have to worry about these cards getting upgraded anymore. There is one card that's going to get an upgrade. That's it. Uh, but if you did watch the stream or the replay of the stream, it's an 83 times 5 and a lone KDB, which is the closest I'm getting to getting Kevin De Bruyne in my club. I guess technically if I was fully liquid, I could almost buy him. I'd be like 500k short because I have 3 mil. Um, with stuff on the transfer list, but that was uh, the rewards from that yesterday, and we do know who won the whole thing. It was PH Zinn, and he was representing uh, Van de Boomen. So Van de Boomen is going to go to 90 rated, and he's, I believe, going to go to 4 star, 5 star. I don't think he's going 5-5. Five, five. I think he's going 4-5. He's getting a plus 1 to each skills and weak foot, so he's the only card that's getting upgraded. Simicon, um, all the other cards that were still alive, no longer getting upgraded, so I wish they would have given him a playstyle plus, but I actually have this card. Uh, I did the SBC because it was super cheap, and I held on to it. Um, actually, no, I didn't do the SBC. I packed him in like a player pick of some sort, and he was on my bench, but he's not anymore. So that card's going to get updated here pretty soon, and that is who was updated for the whole situation of the pro live event yesterday. But again, I can't lie, I'm kind of glad that is over because... That was like the longest integration with the pro scene that they've ever done. And it was cool, but also as time went on, it was just like, when is this thing over? These cards are not up with the power curve. Yeah, so I don't know. That's how I was feeling about those. But speaking of more live cards, let's talk about Road to the Finals a little bit. A little price check action. And as expected, these cards are down a lot from where they were before they started the day yesterday. I mean, Pedri last night on the YouTube video was like eight to 900K, had a quick rarity spike. And then went all the way down during the day from 870 down to 680. Right now he's back up a little bit to 720. But most of this team, especially some of the really expensive cards, are down. Darwin from 2 mil to 1.5. Lukaku from 1.2 to 900k. I mean, these cards definitely dropped as expected. They could drop a little bit more today as well. But we'll have to watch their prices a bit more carefully and we'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video but i want to get to the title of today's video i want to get to the whole situation why we're tired why we're frustrated right now with ea because guys i'm not really like a rant video type of guy that's just not who i am but this is probably as close as you're gonna get from me and the real frustration just stems from team of the year it really started last week i, I made a video last week that was titled uh why did is, is ea giving up on team of the year as i think the, the title uh, of the video that we did and it just felt like with the change of the pack weight and the change of the sbc content that they were just trying to make us disappointed and it felt like we were grinding for like nothing we had like so much like the hope was just falling and we were starting to get frustrated just last week opening upgrade packs, not seeing any blues. The team of the year themselves, unpackable, rising on the market. Like that decrease in pack weight for the full team of the year and and the SBCs, as I mentioned, being super expensive. I think that's what's, what really drained the hype out of this game in the last couple of days. Modric being a million coins with no stat upgrades. Like don't, not to even mention that, no stat upgrades, but just an added playstyle plus to a lot of the honorable mention cards was very disappointing, especially after the start that we had with like a great Sawa SBC, Bruno, all those great SBCs that we had. And then it just turned like, it's like EA flipped the switch on the pack weight and the content in general. And then not to mention the mistakes with like Messi, right? So many people being given a team of the year out of thin air. And then EA responds and says, oh, there was a 0.7% chance of that happening. Um, that doesn't seem like a big deal to us, but actually it was a massive deal. And nobody's ever going to forget when EA gave out team of the year Messi's at a much higher rate than 0.7% because that stat is flawed and 
fits their narrative for sure. So unless you pack the team of the year, you're probably feeling pretty disappointed right now. And maybe even if you're like me, I packed Millie Bright, maybe not the team of the year that I was hoping for, but I actually packed one and I'm still feeling a little bit tired and just drained from this game. But is, is that actually, guys, what EA wants? Is that what EA wants for this game? And is that what they're actually going for? I want to talk about that a little bit. I mean, the pack weight is bad. So what do they do? Like, I think about myself even. What did we talk about last week on um, Thursday, Friday? I said, man, if I can't pack a team of the different upgrades, I'm going to go to the store. Now, thank goodness I don't spend money in this game. But I said that I was going to go open a store pack. And I spent 600,000 coins on a store pack that uh, had, what, a 5% chance or 4% chance of a team of the year to try to get my best chance of packing a team of the year. And that's what EA did to so many people. I'm not trying to bash on you if you bought a store pack with FC points, but that is what EA did the entirety of last week. They lowered the pack weight. They made them seem packable, then lowered the pack weight, and then dropped insane packs in the store so that when you opened upgrade packs and didn't get them, you went to the store for a better and best chance to pack those team of the year cards. And yes, guys, this is a, they are a business, EA. EA Sports is a business. That is how they make money off this game. That's how it's always been. Newsflash, EA is always trying to make money off this game through packs and through the store. Like, I feel like I'm past getting super frustrated on that. Um, I, I'm, I am frustrated with other stuff, but like that just happens all the time. It is there. Uh, but again, this is what EA wants, right? They push you to the store. You open more store packs, but then most times than not, the house wins, right? That's how it works with gambling. The house wins. So you end up being disappointed. So you play less. And that's the EA cycle. That's the roller coaster. We've talked about the roller coaster. I've done this in many YouTube videos where I talk about that kind of fluctuation between the content being really great, the Sawa, the Bruno SBC, the Alfonso Davies, and then it drops back down. And we're in a time now where the pack weight was bad. We're disappointed with the EA mistakes. We're in that low-ish point. They're going to bring it back up. Oh, don't you worry. They'll bring it right back up. But I think they actually get more interaction and they get more hype out of the game and more engagement when they do that. Because if they always kept it at 100%, 10 out of 10 content, then we wouldn't like want something, you know what I'm saying? And we talk about this a lot, but for those of you guys that have not experienced this game for much more than a couple of years, like this, that is, this is the EA cycle. And you kind of have to work at it a little bit different mentally to not fall, I guess, in the trap per se. And I wanna talk about that in a second, but also I wanna add a disclaimer because I've seen a lot of you guys commenting on YouTube videos and I know you're upset and you know what? I'm kind of feeling a little bit tired of, and just frustrated with this game anyway. I feel like we're using those words a lot in this video, but I'm not like an EA paid spokesperson. I'm not an EA shill. Yes, I'm in the EA partner program, but that does not bind me to speak only good things about EA. That's why I'm making this video today because it's what I want to make. It's what I'm feeling on this game right now. I know a lot of you guys are probably feeling a little disappointed and dragged down as well. So I'm still my own person. Like I'm still TFA. I'm saying what I'm feeling my whole entire goal with this channel is to help you have the best ultimate team experience ever and if we're not talking about what's going on with this game right now then you know i'm not doing the best of my abilities and what i tried to do with this channel and right now guys i'll say this i'm never been more glad that we continually promote ways of playing this game that do not involve spending real money if you don't want to I opened the 600,000 coin pack with coins and I still have 3 million coins left in the tank, right? Like I opened that because I wanted to send it and we do it for content. I was trying to pack a team of the year. I always spend coins during team of the year on doing the upgrade packs, but I'm very happy that I didn't spend money because I can only imagine if I spent money in this game and then all this stuff happened, that would just make the game disappointment hit even harder. It's so much freer guys. If you haven't tried it or if you've been thinking about trying it, Play this game the second half of the year from now till the end of the year without spending FC points. You can get so many packs from objectives, SBCs. You can make coins from the market trading actively or just buying cards and waiting for them to rise. It is so possible to play this game more than ever without spending FC points. So all of that to say, all of that to say, I under if you understand how EA approaches this game, it helps you understand what they do. Not that you have to agree with it, but it just helps you understand uh, understand the game a little bit more and why it's better to play in some ways more than others. Now, if you want to spend FC points because you don't have a ton of time to play on the game and you want to get some coins and rip the occasional pack, that's fine. I'm not telling you how to play the game. All I'm saying is there's multiple ways to play it. And if you understand how EA approach it, that can help you stay one step ahead and be prepared. So 
the bottom line is, guys, I'm frustrated with this game as well. I'm taking a bit of a step back. I'm probably not streaming today. Uh, I have champs qualifier games that I kind of don't even care if I finish. Yes, I want the champs rewards, but it's also like, man, we grinded so much last week with upgrade packs, doing all the SBCs, grinding, 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 making so many packs. Like, I'm just a little bit tired from that, to be completely honest. And it's okay to take a break after a big grind like this, after so much energy was put into this, right? This game that we love, trying to pack a team of the year, crafting all the SBCs. It's all right to take a break. Yes, I know you're like, wait, Nate, you're the YouTuber who plays this game for a living, who needs us to watch his videos to make a living as this is my job. And you're telling us to take a break from the game? Yeah, if you feel like you need to, take a break from the game. Still watch the YouTube videos. You can tune in. I'll keep you updated, right? Uh, all jokes aside, take a break if you need to. Check in that content. Look and see if there's anything cool or maybe just don't at all. Or focus on what you enjoy the most about this game. That's what I've been doing in the past, like today paying attention to the game a little bit, watching the prices of cards. Yesterday was the first day, two days I've traded, the last two in, um, man, a while. Didn't trade like during the second half of Team of the Year because we were just opening packs, opening packs. Yes, I bought some cards for investments. They sold the Allisons, the Sam Kerr, the cards that I flipped yesterday on the video, all the, the Harans, right? The Zambo and Gleases, this card was unbelievable, man. I bought him at 190, he went to 270. I woke up right at the right time. The other one I wasn't able to get out at time, but like making coins in this game, whatever is for you, evolutions, right? Maybe some of the Evo combinations, like whether you like the Evo glitch with the unclaimed stuff or not. Uh, league SBCs, trying out a new card and gameplay, whatever brings you the most enjoyment in this game, focus on that, right? Try to put your focus on what you enjoy the most and what you like the most about this game and try to ignore all the noise, right? And what stuff that's being frustrating. That helps me get through kind of the, the low content times, if you will. So yeah, that's what I would tell you right now is focus on what you want the most. Take a break if you need to. And yeah, I don't 100% agree with how EA run this game. But at this point, this is the best game that we have. This is the best outlet to turn on your console and to feel connected with the world of football in so many different ways with icons, teams you love, clubs you love, players you love. This is the best medium for that. And until there's another medium, another game or another way to do it that is like this integrated on this sort of level like this is the this is kind of the outlet that we have right i know there's other ones out there but this is one of the best ones to be completely honest so with that let's turn the page and not be sad anymore and, and i guess not be sad anymore let's just talk about what is upcoming and get prepared for today on sunday because there are some things today that could be really interesting especially that evo right let's get you guys prepared let's talk about Sunday mini release today, shifting gears. We're just making a hard turn there, shifting gears. And talking about Road to the Final content, mini release coming today. New card was added. We didn't talk about Genduzi because I think Lazio was not included in uh, the whole league that we saw. I think now every Champions League team is represented. All the Champions League teams are represented in this promo. Uh, Genduzi and Gavar the Older coming into packs today, as well as Lucy Bronze and Guru Ritten. And these are their official cards as leaked by Scoreboard. They're going to be rare. These cards are going to be extra rare. Many release cards are always rare, but I think these are going to be really, really rare. And there's still, speaking of store packs once again, there's an 83 times 50. I know EA dropped a 600K pack that we were just looking at, which is an 85 times 30. The halftime elite pack. But I still think there's an 83 times 50 pack that's going to get released as well with some other cards inside of it. Uh, this is a pretty crazy pack. I don't know if that one's going to be bigger, if we get an even bigger pack today. But uh, yeah, that's the biggest pack that's in the store. I would watch out for more lightning rounds today. Probably one of the last days that they run those lightning rounds for that. Uh, now let's talk about SBCs as well. We have the base Thunderstruck Winter Wild Cards Icon Player Pick, which refreshed yesterday and made some fodder actually go up. We'll talk about that in a second. But that is going away today, as is the Hero Player Pick. And uh, like I kind of mentioned earlier, could they refresh the Hero Player Pick? Yes. Could they refresh the Icon Pick? Yes. Actually, guys, I would not be surprised. Oh, the 8411 refreshes today, too. Wara upgrade SBC for us. Let's try to pack uh, road to the knockouts. Yeah, okay, definitely watch your 83s today because 83s and 84s, and I mean 86s is being required in this. You need two 86s and then a team of the week and an 85 rated squad. This refreshing today is really interesting because I think a lot of people will still open that coming off of team of the year with road to the knockouts and packs just because it's kind of a cool SBC and you might have a good chance of a uh, road to the final on that one. So maybe if you have fodder in the club, be careful and uh, watch fodder rising today for that. 
Um, but I do think they're going to release some sort of icon or hero player pick. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if they just re-release the same one that we had. Since, again, we're kind of in that low time. We've already had this SBC twice, but I could see them doing it again. Um, actually, no, this was the first time they included Winter Wild Cards. I could see them re-releasing this uh, icon or hero for sure. Now, let's go to you with that evolution that I was hinting at in the intro. Uh, Max88 UCL RTTK Evolution. This one, I think the idea here is cool. But I think the execution is not going to come out as well as we would like it to, right? Think about it. UCL RTTK evolution that you cannot have a playstyle plus on. If you think about some of those Road of the Knockouts that maybe didn't get upgraded uh, in stats the most, this is EA saying like, hey, your team didn't win in Champions League, but hey, we can upgrade them through an Evo now. Maybe that's what this is supposed to be. As you can tell on the market, some cards like Acuna yesterday really went up with this leak. It is all going to depend on if this Evo is paid which I would imagine that it is a paid Evo or um, maybe it's maybe it's free, but not, not many cards are going to fit it. I don't know. I just can't believe that too many cards are going to fit it because a lot of the UCL cards, again, it says UCL specific. So somebody like even Jonathan David, who a lot of us have, or Diego Carlos SBC or, you know, Dodo, Sissoko, Kudus, if you have that, they don't have playstyle pluses, but it's UCL only according to this leak. That kind of sucks. I, I wish that it'd be open to all of the different uh, card types because that would mean that maybe a lot more players, especially those that are just sitting in our club, might be able to get upgraded like Serginho Dest. I would love to upgrade Serginho Dest. Like, come on, right? So uh, all that to be said, watch out for that one today. If you have any of these cards, maybe sell on the hype. DePaul went up like crazy. He's like, what? One, he's 169 right now. But we looked at his graph. He was up like crazy. Just sell on the hype. Take the cash. I mean, they are rare. They will go extinct if the Evo is insane. But since we don't know the requirements, just wait until either the requirements are leaked or um, just sell before the Evo is out is what I would do. That's the safe route 100%. Also, uh, kind of talking about how gameplay is in like a – or content in a mid spot. We don't have any gameplay objectives right now. I guess we do have the Team of the Year Cup, but that's going away. I didn't even do it for the XP. Um, maybe a gameplay sort of objective? This week, dropping today, cups on Sundays are very popular, but since we had one last week, maybe we're not getting one of those today. But yeah, I really feel like it's the evolution that we have to watch for today, and then the SBC refreshes for the 85-plus pick and for the 84 times 11 And again, for fodder, like with the 88-plus icon pick, it's got 88s, 9s, and 87s inflated. 87s are 22K. 86s are still like min or max price and a lot of them are actually not on the market so i would just be really careful with 86s and 7s but if the icon pick comes back today and especially with the 84 times 11 some of those could move but i think that if we don't get an icon pick if it's a hero if it's cheaper some of the higher rated fodder could continue to slowly drop since it's in less and less demand um out of those sbcs that will be in the store in the sbc section right now and the packs that will be coming today let's talk market a bit because we just showed you my transfer list making making a lot of coins how am I making coins right now? What are Team of the Year's doing? We talked about them a lot yesterday. Um, these cards, these live cards, are down a lot. I think they will drop a little bit more today with supply and everything, with the hype of the game, just being honest, as we talked about today, fading a little bit. I think these cards will drop a bit more. Um, it also depends on how good the content is today. I picked up one Haran on a snipe at 199. It was like Footman had a 20K undercut, so I was sitting there sniping. So that was the one you saw on my transfer list. Hopefully, I can sell it for like 230 to 40. Just get it out. Um, I'm definitely keeping a close eye on these cards because they are rare. They fluctuate a lot and they're live. So people are going to want to invest in them at some point. I don't know if that's today we buy, tomorrow. I think it's going to be sometime in the next couple of days. It really just depends on what's upcoming as well, what starts to get leaked, if there's anything that causes some panic. But if it continues to be just slow, mid, average content, then those cards could start to rise up maybe even as soon as today. So we'll be watching those for sure. Uh, but it's an amazing time to trade if you want to grind. Like I bought a Viali today because the new the hero came out. He made his card drop. I bought him at like 490 something and he's rare. He'll probably go back up because I think that this card with the power shot is better than his Evo, even with a double play style. Plus the team of the years, they're kind of just chilling. They're in kind of the same boat. Like some of them are down a little bit more. I was looking at Oberdorf and Millie Bright. Like they're kind of down, but not that much. A lot of them kind of had the crazy crash, which we talked about. And then they kind of bounced back up a little bit. Also, I saw a lot of you guys commenting on the video last night about EA adding cards to the market. And I actually tweeted about that yesterday. Um, I don't think that this instance was EA adding cards to the market. That's just my personal opinion. As we were looking at the market and seeing what was getting listed up, it didn't look suspect at all. Again, EA can manipulate the market in any way they want. 
Uh, I, I don't know. I, I've seen way more suspect things, though, as I mentioned in my tweet. Um, I've seen way more suspect things than the panic selling that I saw on the team of the years. And I know for a fact that there were trading groups uh, that were panic selling these cards because they saw how much they were dropping. And again, like we talked about, the panic snowball. So that is over. But I still feel like a lot of these cards are very expensive. And um, I've sold all the team their honorable mentions. They're still good. to f Ooh, Salah's 1.27? Really, bro? Like, he was 1.4, I think, even yesterday at one point. Yeah, he was 1.35. I guess that's not quite 1.4, but, yeah, he's back down to the 1.2 range, which is kind of low. Not sure if there's enough profit in that for a flip, but I'm just... Team of the years, use them if you want to use them. If it brings you enjoyment to enjoyment to use these cards right now, try them out, have fun, but I'm just still being really, really careful with these prices uh, because I don't think they're going to go up that much now. I think I've kind of changed my position on that after the big panic selling. I think they got too high, and this is going to be one of those years where they don't just keep going up. I think they're going to slowly drop. Not a lot, but they're going to slowly drop for the next couple of weeks with maybe some bigger drops like later on towards foot birthday or stuff like that. We'll have to see. So that's just, again, kind of updating my position on the team of the years, but use them. They're the best cards in the game. The top dogs 100% for sure. And uh, yeah, I already mentioned like the investing in the 83s and 84s. Some people are asking about inform investing as well. Is it worth it to inform invest right now? Informs are what? 18, 19,000 coins? Let me double check. Informs are 18 and 19K. Like I said, man, you could buy these and then lazy list them and try to get sales, but I don't know, man. I really just don't know if it's worth buying into these. I just don't think they're going to go up that much because... They were so supplied and everybody has them in their clubs. Like the 83 plus player pick was completed by so many people with duplicate 83s and 4s. I feel like it's going to take a while for informs to go back up because of all the supply that people have in their clubs. But they're going to have to get through that before they're like, oh, now I got to go pay coins to do an SBC. So I don't see these going up, even if they're required for a really good SBC today. Like the 84 times 11 refreshing might give a little bit of a bump to these. Maybe an icon or hero pick as well. Maybe they go up to like 21K and you get lazy sales at like 23 or 24. It's another way you could lazy sell on the market. But also, I don't know. I just, they are low. Yes, they're, they were once 30K. I remember very well. They were once 40K. I just don't see a time in this game where they're going to end up being back up above 25K for a while. Unless EA drops something pretty crazy. So again, it's going to be a good time to get your games in. Enjoy what you enjoy about this game. Uh, do Evos. I started a new Evo yesterday, which is one of the things that I kind of enjoy. I started an Evo for an Austin FC center back. Craig is his name. I put him in fast forward because that was the last day you could do that. And I think I'm going to end up running out of time for Kulusevsky. Um, Yeah, this is disappointing because this challenge I'll be able to get done. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to win four rivals or champs games by tomorrow at content because I'm busy. So cooked. I might end up with an 88 rated Kulusevsky instead of an 89, which probably doesn't mean much because he's not going to fit into an Evo anyway with those high of stats. But I'm enjoying Evos at the moment just because I'm enjoying some of those chain opportunities that are there or just upgrading somebody that could maybe be upgraded again in the future, right? I dig sort of that, that sort of stuff. So that's the video for me today, guys. Again, I would love to hear your comments down below in the description, how you're feeling about this game right now. And again, I appreciate the love on the channels as always. We're going to keep grinding because every day this game updates, we got to talk about it and there's still a lot going on. So if you're excited for that and if you enjoy the videos, drop a thumbs up on it. That's greatly appreciated. Comment down below again if you have any comments or questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you stuck around, like, hit the sub button because you watched the video for how many minutes? I don't know, a lot. Hit the sub button, man. But I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Account. Catch you guys there. Peace. Out.